Hey channel, welcome back to my guys. Ha, get it? Ah, it's okay. So, you are at the part 4 of the CSS1 group 2 series about computer system software. Oh, 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 oh! Ay, 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 ay! Okay, next. <laughs> so, today we're going to teach you how to turn your flash drives into a bootable device. Um, we're going to show you two different ways. <clears throat> but first of all, you will be needing at least 8 gigabytes of flash drive and your laptop or desktop. So I have here my flash drive. Hey, Eliza, would you like to show them how to turn this into a bootable device? Here you go. What? Okay, Jude, please don't do that again, okay? Okay, first I'm going to show you how to do it manually using CDM. So let's start. First I'm going to show you the most two common ways to open the command prompt. The first one is hold down the shift key button on your keyboard and then right click. After that you will see that there are a lot of options there and all you need to do is click to open the command prompt and after that you will see that mantra and the second one is all you need to do is click the start button and search for the cmd or command prompt after that run it as administrator and that's how it will open the command prompt after you open the cmd or the command prompt type this part and then press or click enter after that, type click this and click or press enter. Next is type clean to remove the data from your USB drive. And then click enter. After that, you need to type create part repetition primary or you can type create part prime. After you do that, type the format fs equal ntfs quick and then if you want to put a name on it, add label and the name you want to put and after that type exit enter and lastly you need to copy paste the OL yo bingo that was bad oh Jago, are you still there yes I'm here <laughs> so now we're done with the, the manual method. Next, Alexa will show you how to use Rufus. Wait, what? Me again? <sighs> okay, Rufus is really easy to use. So let's go. Oh! Okay, good. It is easy to create Windows 10 bootable USB from ISO using Rufus software to make bootable pen drive to install Windows 10. Okay? Okay, make sure you have your flash drive with you and it will be minimum 8 gigabytes for you to make USB drive suitable. After that, you need to plug your flash drive on your laptop and now on the device, you will see the flash drive you just inserted. There you will see that. And now we have the boot collection and you can see that there are a lot of options there. Now we have the boot section and you can see there are a lot of options there. All you need to do is select the disk or ISO image and after that you need to click select option. After that, all you need to do is locate your file, your ISO file or Windows 7, 8 or 10. Okay? Once you have located your file, select and click open. After the boot selection, there's a partition scheme. Okay, this is important. Always to remember what to click here. In partition scheme, we have MBR GPT and it is recommended to use the GPT because GPT can hold more memory, more RAM, and all that kind of stuff, you know. For the next one, there is a volume level and in volume level, you can rename it. After that, click start and it will show some warning on your USB drive. And for the last one, click OK. Okay, dude, I'm done. It's your turn and I'm out. I'm out. Do the audio by yourself. Bye.
<sighs> okay, geez, drop the attitude. So, uh, I hope you learned something new from us on how to turn your flash drive into a bootable device. Um, you can use whatever you want. But if you will ask me, I will I really recommend using Rufus because it's much easier and faster. So, thank you so much guys for watching and see you next time. Hey, Oh, yeah.